plane playing a huge role in the fight against the Zika virus in St. Johns County. Right now, it's loaded with a mosquito-killing chemical. Mosquito outbreaks have been popping up every day. This is a step that hasn't been taken here in more than a decade. Those flights took off at about 7 o'clock this evening and began spraying for mosquitoes at about 8 o'clock. The goal is to cut down on mosquito populations that are booming since Hurricane Matthew. The aerial spraying is going on right now in six specific areas of the county, from Nocatee South to Flagler Estates. Channel 4's Heather Lee is joining us live in Nocatee right now. And Heather, did you see that plane pass over the area tonight? So right around 8 o'clock, we did see a plane. However, we don't know if it's the plane because we did see it kind of swoop down low, but then it went back up high, and it's very dark out here, so we couldn't see if it was actually spraying anything. However, we do know that that plane was expected to be in this area, so we don't know for, sure, for certain if it was the plane. I can tell you, though, that we were able to see the plane uh, in Palatka before it took off as it sat on the tarmac at the airport. You could see tr a truck nearby with blue barrels. Those were carrying the chemical. They also had supplies nearby and Anastasia Mosquito Control says the purpose of this spraying was to try and get rid of a mosquito population that has continued to grow even with the typical ground spraying. Some people emailed us and expressed concern over the chemical. Folks at Mosquito Control told us they started calling local beekeepers, farmers and gardeners to give them notice to take the necessary steps to protect what they needed to. They say as long as those things are covered up during the spraying, they should be fine. The EPA says the chemical can be uh, sprayed for um, is safe, excuse me, for public health mosquito control programs without posing a risk to people. But they also asked people to stay inside. Now, I want to show you this map for people who are worried about the chemical. Here's what the mosquito control uh, says people who live in the six areas on this map can expect as the night goes on. So this chemical is not going to leave a long-lasting residual. It should be gone by the morning easily. Um, in addition to it blowing away and a variety of other things, as soon as the sun comes up, the sun cooks it off like it would fog. Um, so it, that with the low volume that we're putting out, we don't expect there to be residues or to be harm for children, no harm for pets. So again, if you have any questions about this chemical and if you are concerned about it, Anastasia Mosquito Control says they've received more than a thousand calls per day since they've made this announcement that they were going to be doing this spraying. So what they're asking you to do is please visit their website. They've posted information on there about this chemical and about the spraying process. And we have posted a link to that on our website. That is news4jax.com. For now, we're live in Nocatee, Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station.